basic graphing on the TI Inspire app for iPad. These are common graphing ideas for middle school math through Algebra 2. Tap on the next slide. Here we have a, a graphing grid. The double tap to bring up the function input line and I'll type f of x equals x plus 1. Enter. And there's the graph in red. I'm going to pull the graph up and down and as I do that the graph changes and so does the equation accordingly. I'll tap the undo button at the very top of the screen to put it back where it was. This time I'm going to rotate the line around and you can see how the line changes and the slope changes. Undo to bring it back. I can edit the equation by double tapping on it and then changing that from x plus 1 to x plus 2 and then press enter. I can also have a table, so I'll go to the, the wrench and press the table and split screen table. And there's the table and I can also pull it down so I can see other values. I can remove the table, going back to the, to the wrench and remove the table. I can tap the curve to select it and then uh, go to the three rods here that allow me to change the attributes. So I can change the color to let's say blue. I can change the line weight to be a little bit more medium and the line style to be dashed. On the next page I'll double tap. This time I'll type in x squared for my expression and I can again move the graph around and you can see how the equation changes and the graph shape or the graph position changes. Undo to bring it back. I can now touch it outside and see it dilate and see how the coefficient of x squared changes the shape of the graph and bring it back. Again I can tap it to uh, change the line color and the line weight and the line style. Here I've already graphed a, a linear equation and a parabola. I'd like to find the points of intersection so I can press the little tools go to geometry, points and lines, and intersection points. I'll tap on one curve, tap on the other, and there are the two points of intersection. I could also bring in the table to show that. So let's go back and see the table. And you can see that the Y coordinates are the same when X is 4. And then also if I slide down, the y coordinates are the same when x equals negative 2. I entered a cubic equation so that we could trace. So I'll go to trace, graph trace. And uh, you'll notice in the lower right hand corner, you'll see the coordinates. And notice it stopped at the 0, which is kind of neat. So I think I'm going to go back and also show you how I can change the uh, trace step. The automatic looked like it was about 0.3. Let's make it say uh, 0 0.25. Not that there's anything special about that. So there's a y-intercept there. There's a 0. Shows me a minimum. But I can also, if I want to go to a point, I can just double tap and it'll come up x equals and I can type in, let's say, x equals negative 2 and enter. And it takes me right to that spot. And so this time I'm going to go down to that zero here. And to have those coordinates stay there, I'll tap and hold that point just for a second. And it leaves the ordered pair for that point of interest. So there's a maximum. Let's get that point of interest. Y-intercept. Oops, past the zero. Go back. And we've got a minimum coming up. and another zero. Pretty cool. Here I have a cubic and a line. Again, I can find the points of intersection by just tapping on the two curves. But what also I like about this is I can squeeze the graph in and squeeze the graph out with my fingers. And I know you can't see me pinching it, but hopefully you can imagine that I can do that. So I'm using some iPad characteristics there. Inequalities, double tap. Uh, if you delete the equal sign, notice you get inequality signs and equal 
signs there. So I'm going to go ahead and graph uh, y is less than or equal to 1 half x plus 2. You'll notice the solid line there in the shading. Double tap again, delete the equal sign, and this time I'll go with a y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 1. And you can see where the shade, the feasible region would be. And again, I could find the point of intersection there also if I needed to. We now have linear equation templates. Uh, we've got y equals mx plus b, which we've kind of already had, but now we have x equals a constant, so like x equals 3. And also we have um, standard form. So if I wanted 2x minus 3y equals 12, there it is. And finally, I can add a picture to a graph by hitting the camera. I can either take a photo and pour it in or add a photo either from my camera roll, or in this case, I'm going to just use from TI Inspire photos that come with it. In this case, I'm going to take one of my favorite pictures, a fountain at, uh, in Washington, D.C. at the World War II Museum. And I'm going to try to model one of those with a, a parabola. And since I've done this already, I'll just go right to it, though this would be a, a great activity for students. I think negative 0.4 uh, times the quantity of x plus 1.4, the quantity squared, um, plus 4.5 should be decent. But notice all the good mathematics that students would have to do in order to be able to do that. So this is a pretty powerful activity. There are many iPad-ready activities that are available for free at TI's websites. See these two below. And for more information about iPad activities, workshops, conferences, you can go to my website or contact me or go to TI's websites. Mathematics can now be felt. Enjoy. Enjoy.